Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum uh, In today's tutorial I will teach you to create something like this First I will tell you the concept behind this and then we will make something like this For example we take a cube and we make it duplicate So one is cube and the other one is also a cube so we take the other one and make it fillet and also the first one make it fillet so we have two objects with the same number of polygons uh, this is necessary to create this kind of effect that both the poly uh, both objects have same same uh, polygons so what we'll do is we make this if, if we increase this fillet radius uh, it will become almost a complete circle okay so the number of polygons in this cube and the number of polygons in this cube are actually the same so what we'll do now is for example we call it sphere and this is cube so we come to the more graph cloner and we put both of them inside the cloner now instantly it makes it something like this if we just increase it you can see it, one is cube second is a uh, circle and third one is cube because this we have three counts if we increase it and we have in the clone mode we have option of iterate so it will create similarly one cube and one circle like this okay if I want to create them random like not in a sequential pattern we can come here and make it random and the third option is blend this is what we are looking for in this scenario we make it blend in x axis so that we can see it more clearly and also we will reduce a little bit like 5 is fine and we increase it the distance so you can see now for example if I will reduce the fill radius of my cube to something 0 is fine so this is a solid cube and then slowly slowly gradually you can see it becomes a circle so what it is what it is doing it's blending between these the first one and the last one so we can we can drive this uh, this thing using a planar factor so what we we'll do now is if we come here more graph a factor planar factor and select the planar factor and we come to the fall off and from here we change it to linear so you can see this is our factor and we want this into being x direction and also a little bit big and reduce the size uh, in z yeah so now it is affecting the position but we don't we don't want to affect the position for now we just want to affect this gradual effect of a cube uh, blending so for that one we come to the parameter and here you can see we switch off this position effector now now it is not affecting anything so what we'll do is there's one option here called modify clone we just make it 100% so now if you see if I move my my effect to the left side all of them become circle if I move them here see you can see the effect in order to create the same effect we do not need this much cloner first of all we switch off the cloner and we bring both of them to the same place okay and both of them are of same size 200 201 is has a filler radius of 100 and one has zero filler radius or we can give it a little bit i think yeah so now what we'll do is we just switch on our clone option and we don't want any kind of clone and we don't want to move it so now if we come here and affect the add the planar factor and uh, fall off linear y plus okay and don't we don't want position we want modify clone so now if you can see that this object is transforming into sphere okay now we want to create the same effect which I have show which I have shown you in the beginning first of all I want my this effector should be affecting from 
top to bottom so initially I want Safi cube down so that when I bring this down it should transform into Saphir so Saphir on the top and cube on the bottom so okay what I will do now is I will select my cloner and I will create another cloner okay and put it inside that cloner and this one I need it in grid okay and I don't want in I reduce the number of cloner first okay and I want only in Y so in order to move it in a per steps we will change it to the step and I will need for example something like this and I move it a little bit up and also move my planer up so now you can see if I will make this move my is changing it if I move my plane effector down it is changing it's transforming now we want them to be as, as soon as this is coming down it should start moving changing its position to sphere so in order to, to do that we will come here and uh, give a what do you call it simulation tag a rigid body tag simulation rigid body okay and now if we play nothing is happening I will increase my timeline to like 500 frames something like this okay so and also I will press ctrl D to get my uh, project settings and here in dynamics I want my gravity to be negative 1000 because I want these things to be moving uh, upward so I will come here select my plane press play and click down so see now as soon as I'm going they are to start, start moving upward okay now if you remember the shape uh, my in my animation see you can see there are multiple shapes some are sphere some are cylinder some are different sizes so how can we achieve that one it's very simple and easy instead of having one cloner we just create two cloners or three cloners and here we change the shape to for example change this radius y to 100 and here uh, this radius to 150 okay so now if I will come here play so we can see some of them are smaller some of them are bigger okay so I make it so because they were interacting very fast with each other hitting each other and going down some of them so I just make the animation slow so that they interact with each other very slowly and if they hit each other they do not hit them very strongly I will make my then in the same way you can apply them with different materials okay so that's it for the this tutorial i hope you understand something and you learn something new and thanks for watching